I am suspicious. As always, you fought with the grace and ferocity of a knight. I have a question for one of your expertise. As God Eaters, we are provided with a variety of arms beyond simply our noble God arcs. Among them are deceitful traps, stun grenades. When I see them used, it doth give me pause. Our opponents are vicious, surely. Yet does that give us leave to use such coward's tools? Should a knight not stare into the eyes of an opponent? Fight according to chivalrous codes? Alas, I say, I shall get nary a wink of sleep this night while such a question wanders. But your opinion on the matter may put me to rest. Then you too believe there is no shame in such wicked devices? I have come to a decision. From this moment on, I shall bear no shame for the use of traps and stun grenades. I shall use any means at my disposal to slay Aragami and defend those I love. I renounce my former name. I am no longer Emil. I am Dark Emil. To defend others, I shall do away with knightly pride. Perhaps this is true understanding. Ah, how bittersweet, my friend. The Emil you love shall not return to this world until from hence all Aragami are purged! Tis truth. I now depart and shall ne'er look back. Actually, would you mind teaching me how to use traps? I've never done it before. Thank you for accompanying me on this risky mission. I have one more boon to ask of you. I ask of you, hit me! Surely you wish to know the reason why? Oh! Uh, sorry, may I finish my reasoning first? I had an opportunity to set a trap during the battle. Still, I could not bring myself to use the device. Tis cowardly, dishonorable. I swore I would discard this foolish pride. I swore to defend others by any means necessary. Yes, the mission was a success. Yes, the innocent are safe from harm. Yet, I failed in my oath, and for that, there is no forgiveness. I implore you, strike me! I must accept due punishment! I know that in your eyes this must seem a fool's errand, yet to me... What? You, you will? Well then... Okay. There! Lay one on me! Strike me! You must! I demand satisfaction! Hit me! Right in the kisser! Finish it! Oh! Fierce and terrible, yet with such serenity. 
Although, I mostly feel the fierce and terrible. I believe I have seen a new side of myself. A new power is surging through my veins. Together we must strive to be paragons of knighthood. you wish to engage in a duel, I'd be honored if you would inform me beforehand. We have met and vanquished another challenge. No thanks necessary. Your work was surely as grand as my own. Since I was struck with your righteous fist, a new power has been surging within me. I wonder if it could be... a blood art! Could your heavy evoke have granted me this gift? My loyal Polar Stern has gained new strength as well. He is very grateful. Oh! Tis the name with which I christened my god arc. Though it shares much with an Aragami, my god arc is my strength. It deserves a noble name. As for that name's origin, well, a story for another time. In any case, I believe I have made a truly staggering discovery concerning blood arts. I began to suspect during a mission, yet as I found the truth, I felt most wicked chills. I can no longer keep such a secret to myself. You are the only one I can trust. I must share this breakthrough with you now. Such a time may not come upon us again. You know well the light one emits when a powerful blood art is activated, yes? I am certain that light shines with ever so slightly a brighter glow if it follows within an hour of drinking tea. What do you think? Are you not shocked? The energy of a blood art is truly the power in our veins. This glow, the body's evidence. I'm certain this glow has no other effect on power or range. I've tested it relentlessly. Ah, oh, it is such a relief to finally share this wondrous news, my friend. Good day to you. The mission stands completed. You have my deep gratitude. The innocent survived this day. Ah, how their smiles fill me with warmth. I feel I have come into my own as a god-eater.
I wonder how oft we have fought side by side. Without you, I would never have become the God Eater I am. Without you, I would have fallen. There is something I wish to share with you. It is about my God Ark, Polar Stern. I told you once that I would share the story of its name. Tis only natural for such a moment to be buried amidst shades of long-waged wars. I would like to tell you now, if you'll hear the tale. Put simply, its name is just that. A reflection of the real Polar Stern. From the hill where my childhood house stood, it could ever be seen. Long has its light guided mankind. I wished to do the same, so I granted my god Ark its title. I know that such greatness is beyond me, yet still, fighting alongside brave Polar Stern, it rouses my strength, it empowers my will. I remember the day I aspired to such greatness, and my loyal Polar Stern guides me as truly as the star once did. Then one day, I realized the truth. This God Ark is not the only guide in my life. The God Eaters of the Far East the staff that helps us, my friends, they are all Polar Stern. And of all those, you shine so bright. Many rely on you as they would a guiding star. My light is but dim compared to yours, perhaps because I have so oft relied on your wisdom. I swear, here and now, that I shall become a guiding light with my Polar Stern beside me. Hmm? Ah, what does Polar Stern mean? It is named in honor of the glorious Polar Stern. Ah, I forgot to tell you. Your word for Polar Stern is the North Star, I believe. My apologies. My story may have been somewhat convoluted. Let me begin again. From the hill where my childhood house stood, it could ever be seen. 